Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and welcome back to Code Combat. We are in the Backwoods Forest, uh, and ready to continue on with the uh, levels. Uh, I have switched to Python, and so that is what I'm going to be using. If you do prefer that I move back to JavaScript, just let me know in the comments. It's uh, relatively easy to switch back. So uh, yeah, we are going to... But sure, I think that's a premium level, so I don't think I can actually do that, because I am playing this uh, for free, so... Let's go to this one. Uh, Defense of Plainswood. Protect the present village of Plainswood from the ogres. Basic syntax, arguments, and strings. Okay. Uh, so let me make sure that my voice is being recorded here. It is great. Um, Code combat. Villagers must survive. So in this case, I need to build a fence at the top and then a film at uh, one at the bottom as well. Uh, let's see here. So. Because we are in Python, the syntax is a little bit different. Uh, itself, instead of this, uh, build xy. We're going to be building a fence. We're going to be building it at 40.50 or 40 comma 52. And then we're going to do the exact same thing down here, but instead of that, it's going to be 40 dot 40 20. And that should take care of it. Yep. What a team. Build a fence there, and then run to the bottom before the ogre gets there. Build a fence there. And that's it. Get a new item. We get a pair of boots. Leather boots. Alright. So I think I'm going to try to keep these to about 10 minutes each. Maybe 15. I know it can get a little bit tedious watching some of this coding. Um, as of now, I'm thinking that may end up being maybe 4 or 5 levels. Some of the more complicated levels, obviously, it may be a single level. Uh, hero must survive, get to the end of the path, grab two bonus gems. Alright, so let's, let's take a look here. Uh, so we've got a gem up top, we've got a gem up bottom, bunch of gems up here, but I can't get past this guy because I do not have access to an attack uh, method. So, what do we do? We're going to be moving to, let's see here, 3658. So let's go ahead and copy the move XY. 3658. Then uh, 3713. 37. I said 13. I did. 13. And then here, uh, they want us to build a fence on X. So we want to go a little bit slower than the X. So 7223. 72. 23. And then we're going to build X, Y. We're going to build a fence at uh, 7225. 72.25. Just go ahead and quickly check to make sure that we have no errors in the code here. Mixing up uh, apostrophes or quotation marks or commas and periods. Oh, looks good. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so it looks like this is going to actually succeed. We're going to go up and grab the first gem. And we're going to head down to grab the second gem. And then run over here, build a fence before we can get attacked. What a team! Alright, and I think that's it. I don't think there's anywhere else that they want us to go, so there we go. New item. This item should give us access to... Probably if statements. Use your best insults. Ogres are thick skinned. Alright, so we're gonna equip all of. I guess I can't equip those, which means I won't be moving and I won't be attacking. Okay. Code combination. Alright. Lure the ogre to his doom. Use the equality operator, which is two equal signs next to each other, to check if both sides match. So if 2 plus 2 equals 4, then um, 
the character will say 2 plus 2 equals 4 and it will happen constantly because that's always true. If 2 plus 3 equals 4, which is not true, this will never happen. So always a good thing to pick, keep in mind. So if statement code only runs when the if contention is true. So if 2 plus 2 equals 4, then it'll say hey. If 2 plus 2 equals 5, it'll say yes, you. But it'll never say that because that will never be true. So you want to change the condition here to make your hero say come at me. So if 3 plus 3 equals 6, the character will say this. Add one more. They want us to make this statement true. So the easiest way to do that, since there is no arithmetic here, is to just make 2 equal 2 without the colon. And then add another statement there, which I will do like this. And then just whatever you think will upset a muscle bound ogre. So, um,. you even lift. Oh, I guess I do need that colon there. Still something unexpected token. Uh, let's take a look here. If 2 equals 3, make this true. Something is missing here. What is missing here? Well, let's get rid of this comment. Maybe that's what it's yeah, I just didn't want the comment there. That's fine. Okay, go ahead and run Session. it. Session? Hey. You talking to me? Novesty! What? Novesty! Hey, I'm coming down there to kill you. And then the ogre dies. Okay, moving on. Alright, if statements mean that we have a lot more control, we have a lot of control now over what we can do in terms of uh, solving puzzles. Alright, so let's move on to Burl's Beats Booleans. Uh, okay, well I guess it's not going to let us use one of those. Code combat. It's very, very weird. Okay. Okay, answer all questions correctly. So let's take a look. This uh, level is introducing Boolean operators. So a Boolean is a value that is either true or false. The equivalency symbol means is equal to. So writing the question A equals B is asking the question is A equal to B. So uh, question is 2 equal to 3. The answer is false. It is not. So self that say false. Question is 3 equal to 3? Well, that is true. So we want it to say true. Is 3 equal to 3? Now, that might be a little confusing, but that is actually false because 3 is a string and the number 3 is an integer. So 3 the string and 3 the integer are not equivalent. However, 3 the string and 3 the string are equal. So that would be true. And then 1 plus 2 equals 3. 1 the integer plus 2 the integer equals 3 the integer. That is also true. So we have uh, 2 equals 3 false, 3 equals 3 true, string equals integer false, string equals string and that would be the, th the strings are identical. That would be true. And then 1 plus 2 equals 3 would also be true. So that should take care of it. What a ting! Okay. <sighs> Dead. Novesty. Second one. <coughs> true. Third one. False. <coughs> Fourth one. <coughs> Fifth one. <coughs> there we go. Level complete. Right. Let's see if we can get one more done. Uh, what's this one called? Gems or death. Basic syntax, arguments, if statements, arithmetic, and variables. Use if statements to decide do you want gems or do you want death? Cake or death. So we want to equip the book. We want to equip the, bo uh, the boots. So we want to grab all the gems. Alright. 
Make sure the if statement is true for the commands you want to execute and false for the commands you don't want to execute. Remember the equals operator means is equal to. Yes, I remember that. Okay, so the first statement. If 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, make this false, then we're going to move to 515. Well, there are bombs there, so we don't want to do that. So we want to change that so that it is not true. So that is not true. They want us to make this one true. 2 plus 2 equals 4. This will move us to 5.40, 15.40, which is right here. The third one. If 2 plus 2 does not equal 4, they want us to make this true. Say it does not equal 5. Then we'll move to 25.15, which I believe is around here. Yes. This is a less than sign. So if 2 plus 2, and they want it to be true, so we need to change that to 5. If 2 plus 2 is less than 5, then it's going to find the nearest enemy and attack the nearest enemy. Should only have to do it once, I hope. Um, if 2 is less than 4, then it's going to move here. So we want to make this false. So we can change this to, if 5 is less than 4, then it will move to 40, 50, which is... Where is 4050? Oh, it's not going to happen, so it won't matter. If true, okay, here's another thing. Okay, so instead of making an arithmetic, you can just say, hey, if this happens to be true, then do this. But they want us to change this one to false. And they want us to change this one to true. So if this will not happen, so the last thing that happens is we're going to be moving to 5524. 25, which is there. Alright, well let's check this out. It should go up and get the first gem. Go down around the trees to get the second gem. Kill this guy. And then run over here to get the last three gems. And that's it. Alright. And there, first five levels of the Backwoods Forest. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please let me know what you think of the series. Let me know if you wanted me to switch back to JavaScript. If you like me continuing with Python, perfectly happy to do that as well. Um, yeah, so there should be another episode of this coming out towards the end of the week. I'm trying to do maybe two a week. Uh, they are a little bit difficult to record at times just because, you know, work schedule and everything gets in the way. Um, in the meantime, do appreciate it if you leave a like if you like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.